we know that in our C programs we are having multiple header files. So most common header file is stdio.h that is our standard input output header file. We are having header file like your math.h where different math related functions the respective prototypes will remain defined. Can we define our own header files? So in this session we are going to discuss that how we can define our own header files and how to include them in our program defined. So now here is the topic list going to be covered in this session. So defining our own header files and including it in our C programs, function coding, compilation and execution, program debugging with tracing. So I am giving more emphasis on this program debugging and tracing because that is the best quality one programmer should have, should inherit. So please watch the practical demonstration video where we shall define our own header files, we shall include it, we shall do the tracing, we shall do for, we shall go for debugging and tracing accordingly. So watch the practical demonstration right now. This video is in the continuation of the previous one. Please watch the previous video for the better understanding. In the previous program that is in function 2.c, I declared main function, we define the main function and also we define five other user defined functions. So there we had my input, my add, my display, my welcome and my halt. At first we called the my welcome function which printed the welcome message. Then we called my input function twice so that it can take inputs from the keyboard uh, from the user and first value will be kept in A and the second value will be kept in B. Then we call the my add function where A and B they have been passed as input argument and the sum thus obtained within my add will be returned and the value will be assigned to C variable. My display is taking ABC both three as input arguments and my halt will print the end of the program message. And similarly accordingly we are having this my halt function body where this end of the program message is getting printed. My welcome where the welcome to the world of programming welcome message is getting printed. printed. And this is our my input function where int data is the local variable and this function is taking one value from the keyboard as input and returning the value. So my input was having int as return argument. We are having this void my display int d1, int d2, int result where displaying the result will take place. And so the sum of percentage d and percentage d is percentage d. First percentage d will be replaced by d1, second by d2 and third will be replaced by the result re. And then we had the my add function where two values whatever has been passed they have got assigned to x and y and those two values have got added and kept in the local variable result and then result has been returned. So my add is having the int as return argument. So in this way the return value has been kept in C and my display is printing them. So all this part, all this uh, program logic we have discussed and also in the previous video we have shown you that how to do the tracing accordingly. Now in function 3.c here in this particular program we are doing something new. Here what happened you see I have called the same, I did not touch the main function all the functions whatever was called my welcome at first then my input twice then my add then my display then my call all of them have been kept accordingly only the local prototype declaration of all these functions have got removed and here I am calling or I am including one header file that is my header.h. So my header.h is this one. So here there is no main function, there is no hash include, there is nothing, only the user defined function bodies are written. Other than the main function, all the user defined function bodies have got written here. So here we are having my halt, my welcome body, my input body, my display body, my add body and so on. So all the five user defined function bodies are just uh, I've kept that one extracted from function 2.c and kept in my header.h. So function 3.c is having the function calling but no function prototype declare, declaration and there is no function body declaration at the end but we have included another new include that is hash include my header.h and my header.h is having all the function bodies but there is no hash include and there is no main function. So now what is happening? Here you see 
as we have included this myheta.h which is containing all the five user defined function bodies so i can easily execute the code this function 3.c and myheta.h they have been kept in the same folder so now let me execute them i'm doing the compilation compilation is okay i'm just going for execution you see my program is executing perfectly so 100 and 200 has been passed and the sum is getting is 300 so welcome to the world of programming that is a welcome message then two times input performing the addition operation that means calling the add function displaying the result so the sum of 100 and 200 is 300 so result has been displayed end of the program is our my heart. so accordingly i'm getting everything executed according to the plan so now let me trace this program that will uh, bring more clarity so i'm just putting my uh, breakpoint here so that is my line number eight that is the first time i'm calling my welcome so there i put my breakpoint let me ensure that the program uh, all the components have been rebuilt so now we are going for the debug tag tab and here we are having this abc all the variables they are in the watch watch screen so now i'm going for this debug i'm going for the debug so now see my program is executing the tracing bar has come that is a blue color bar has it has come so i'm going for the into function that means i'm going to my welcome see the control will be transferred to my header.h so that is my welcome function only one line is there so after execution it will come back to function 3.c you see after execution it has come to function 3.c abc they are initialized with some garbage value but they are within the scope they are defined so now going for into function so my input will be called so control is supposed to go to my header dot h let me show you that yes the control has gone to my header dot h so my input function body is executing so now it will ask for the input so i'm clicking here so i'm putting the value say 11 here and pressing enter so now control is coming back to data going for into function so now when it will return back to function 3.c a will have the value 11 let me check that one yes a is having the value 11 again i'm supposed to call my input so going to my input again it is asking for another number to take uh, to get uh, input from the keyboard so here i'm giving the value say 44 and pressing enter so again return data will take place and the value is supposed to go to variable b so let me go for execution so after returning back the value has been has gone to b variable now my add a b so this a and b it is supposed to be assigned on this uh, on this x and y i think so so let me go for this yes the x and y it has got the value that is 11 and 44 x and y they have got the value 11 and 44 the result is holding some old uh, garbage value so i'm going for into function so this line has got printed and then result is equal to x plus y so now the result should be having the value 55 after execution of this line yes it has got 55 now value of the result will be returned and that will be assigned to c so c is going to get the value 55 so let it return to the function 3.c yes the c has got the value 55 now i'm passing abc to my display so abc they are supposed to get assigned to d1 d2 and re respectively let me check yes 1144 and 55 it has got assigned so this line is going to get printed here this line is going to get printed here and that is the end of this my display so i'm coming back to the function 3.c my halt will be called so if you click on the my halt that means into function then my halt this end of the program is supposed to get printed now it has got printed so i'm coming back to the main function again in function 3.c so i'm going for continue and the, that that will terminate my program going at the end so in this way my program got the execution now one question is coming in mind that here stdio.h has been put within angular bracket but myheader.h it has been put 
within double quotes. Why? Because always remember, for each and every header file, they are supposed to be saved, they are supposed to be existing in a folder known as the include folder. So whenever you are including, whenever you are including this header file name within angular brackets, then this header file will be searched in the include folder only. But if you put this double quotes here, then the header file will be searched at first in the local folder from where the file has been opened and then in the present folder it will be searched. If it finds that they are, it is quite okay. Otherwise, it will search in the include folder. That means that if I put double quotation here, if I put double quotation here also to enclose stdio.h, then also the program will be running because at first it will search it in the local folder. If it finds there, then it is okay. If it does not find there, then it will go to the include folder. And in the include folder, this stdio.h is existing. But in case of my header.h, it is existing. Let me show you that. It is existing. Here you see, this is my function 3 and this is my header. So function 3 and function uh, header, they are existing in the same folder. So that's why when I put them within double quotes, it is working. But if I put it within angular brackets, if I put it within angular bracket, then what will happen? That means here this my header.h will be searched only in the respective in include folder. So let me check that one. So I'm going for this compilation and it is heading, it is putting one error message that compilation header error and my header.h no such file or directory. That means see here it is causing one error message. What is the error? Error is that this my header.h has not been found in the include folder. So what I'm supposed to do, I'm just cutting this one. I'm just, I'm just selecting this one and then I'm going for cut. And then I'm going to the respective folder, the header folder. So now that is the include folder here. Look at the path, please. So it is, when it is a C colon and then programs files x86, then devcpp, that is a default folder in which uh, devc++ used to get installed. And then this is the folder name. Then under that, this is a folder name. Then they include. So here I'm just pasting my my header dot h. So it is asking for the administrative permission. So I'm clicking on OK. So now my header dot h has been copied here. Okay. Now what is happening? You see, I'm coming back to my program again. So my header dot h is has been copied. So I'm now let me close this one. It is not there in the current path. It is not there in the current path. So my header.h is there. So now let me execute my code. And you see my program is executing. So that means whenever you are including one header file name within double quotes, it signifies that at first this header file will be searched in the local folder, in the present current folder. If it finds, then it is okay. From there, it will get executed. From there, it will be accessed. Otherwise, it will, it will be searched in the include folder. Here, if you put only the angular brackets, then it will be searched only in the include folder, not in the present folder. That means at this present moment, my program is executing. At this present moment, my program is executing fine. You can see. So here also, if I put double quote, if I replace this angular bracket with double quote, then also my program should execute. So in this way, you can create your own header files. You can create your own header files containing so many different functions. And some of those functions will be called from your program in C, whichever is required. So in this way, you can create your own header files and you can work with that. If you find that there, is, there are some functions which are in regularly in use, so you can define them, you can put them in the header file in that program where those functions will be required, just include the header file as I did and use some of the functions or all functions, whatever is required. So I think that now the conception is cleared. So please see the path again, where you are supposed to put your header file. So this is the path in which you are supposed to put the header file accordingly. So I think uh, you are getting this issue. Please do some practice on such experiments and leave your comments, leave your uh, issues any any kind of doubts if you require any further clarifications 
please leave your comments in the comment block we'll be communicating with you and give you the full support thanks for watching this video